Hey, this is Ben from the GitHub Accessibility team. We've recently released a new global navigation and there's some really cool accessibility features baked in. First, we're gonna look at keyboard accessibility. Before we get started, I want to call out that this is a recent ship and there are still a few bugs that we're ironing out. We'd love your feedback. The link to the feedback will be in the video description. I'm within Chrome on Mac OS and my focus is in the address bar. You can see the address bar has a nice blue ring around it and we call it the focus ring. I'm going to start pressing tab and moving around this new global navigation. I'm pressing the tab key and getting into the GitHub web page content. The GitHub logo currently has focus and you can see that there's a nice blue focus ring around the GitHub logo. As I press tab, it goes to the next link, which is the Python organization link. Press tab again, I go to the CPython repo link. I'm going to keep pressing tab. I go to the search button, then the command palette button, then the new items menu, then the notifications link, and finally the profile and settings button. This tab order is predictable and I can very clearly see where my focus is. I can tab backwards using shift tab and that order is also predictable. To recap, those two concepts are visible focus and a predictable tab order. The next thing I want to demonstrate is operating the different interactive controls with the keyboard alone. The first button is the GitHub logo. That is a button which toggles the visibility of a navigation panel. I'm going to activate this button with space key. You can see that it's open this side panel. When you open the panel, my focus has also been managed to move inside this newly revealed panel. If I press tab a couple of times, you'll see that eventually my focus outline returns and it's now on the close button within the panel. I can move through the links and buttons within this navigation panel by pressing tab. All of the interactive controls within this side panel are available to me with the keyboard alone, which is really cool. I can close this side panel by navigating to the close button and activating it with the space key, or I can hit the escape key again. When I hit escape, the side panel is closed and my focus is sent somewhere logical. The profile and more panel also works in a similar way. I can tab to my avatar, activate the button with space to reveal a new navigation panel. I can navigate the controls within the panel by pressing tab and I can close the panel by pressing the escape key. Let's go to something a bit different. Let's go to the create new menu. I'll operate this by pressing space to open it and then I navigate the menu with the up and down arrow keys. If I want to activate the menu item, I'll press space. I can also close this menu by hitting escape. As I hit escape, my focus is taken back to the menu button. I'm going to navigate to the search bar now and quickly show you some of the features of the new code search. I can hit space key to activate the new search. I can start refining my search with different tokens like the repo token or the org token, or I can just search plain text. In this case, I'm going to look for the term data classes within the CPython repo. After I enter my search, I can navigate through the different suggestions with my up and down arrow keys, and then hit enter on the option that I like. My search has run and I get results. If I go back to the search field again, I'm going to press space to activate the search bar. If I wanted to clear the search, I can tab to the clear search button. I can also tab to other links within search like search syntax tips or give feedback. If I am done with my search, I can hit escape and that will close the search box and focus will be returned to a logical place. The final keyboard feature is called command palette. The command palette button is next to the search field. I can tab to the button, hit space key to open the command palette. From the command palette, I can construct all sorts of queries in text. The command palette has pretty good instructions baked into the interface. For example, within a repo, I can search for an issue by pressing pound or hash key and typing the issue number or words within the issue title. I can navigate to the suggestions within the command palette using the up and down arrow keys and hit enter to navigate to the link associated with the suggestion. All right. So those are just a few of the features of the new global navigation and code search. I hope you like them and we look forward to your feedback. Please check out the feedback link below and let us know what you think. Thank you.